Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to use for loops in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. I create content which will be very useful to you in real time scenarios. So let's jump back to our video. First, let's understand how exactly the for loop works. For that, I'm going to take a real time example. So let's say you have to eat uh, five apples, right? If you have to eat five of the apples, you're not going to take all these five apples and then eat it at once, right? You're not going to shove it inside your face, right? What you're going to do is instead, you're going to pick each apple one by one and then eat, right? You're going to pick first apple, then you're going to eat, then you're going to go for the second apple, then you're going to eat third and fourth and so on, right? So you're not going to eat, take all of the apple and uh, instead what you're going to do is you're going to process or eat each of the apple one by one same way in programming usually whenever you have large amount of the records rather than processing all the records together what we do is we pick each of this record one by one and then we process it and then we do update delete whatever we want to now to process one of uh, you know, like process one by one record from the group of the records you have to process each of the record one by one you have to use for loops so I'm going to take you to the notepad. So as you guys can see, uh, the basic for loop uh, syntax is in Java is I'm going to talk about the for each loop. So this is the for loop. So over here, what we are going to do is box of apple, right? We have a box of apple and out of this box of apple, I'm going to pick each of these apple one by one. I'm going to pick e uh, apple one by one. So what I'm going to do is from this app box of the apple, okay, I'm going to pick each of the apple one by one, right? And the type of the single apple is type apple, right? So from the box of the apple, a single instance of this apple would be apple, a single apple, right? So what I'm trying to do is from this box of the apple, I'm going to pick each of this apple one by one, and then I'm going to do uh, like for an example, I can. I can print it out right i can print this apple one by one or if i want to do i can add the value to a field i can add the value anywhere i want to so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick each of these from the box of the apple i'm going to pick one by one and then i'm going to show it on the screen same way in lwc to do that we have for each okay that is template for each so we are going to look into it quickly so right now i have open lwc component right First, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a real time example. I'm going to create a box, a variable of type box, which is capable of taking multiple values at a time. Next thing I'm use, going to use connected callback. Now, what exactly this connected callback is? Let's understand what exactly this connected callback is. As soon as you're in a very simple terms, I'm going to explain connected callback. As soon as your component loads, right? As soon as your component loads, automatically this function gets executed. There's one more function called as wire, but Let's understand first connected callback. As soon as your component or your element is inserted inside the DOM, the connected callback executes. Or in simple terms, as soon as your component is loaded, automatically this function gets called. I'll just show you. So I'm going to save it, deploy it. And let's move over here. So what I've done is I've added the component over here as there is nothing inside the HTML. That's why you're not able to see anything. M template is completely empty. So that's why you're not able to see anything. But now if I refresh, as I refresh, the component is also will getting, will be also getting loaded. And automatically as component is getting loaded, connected callback automatically gets called. And as connected callback is getting called, you're going to see this alert getting started at getting called at start. So that's how connected callback works. Connected callback ex executes as soon as your component is getting loaded. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in this, uh, as soon as the component is getting loaded, what I'm going to do is inside this box, I'm going to insert the apples, right? So there would be box dot push. Let's say apple one. And the same way I'm going to push five apples inside it. Two three, four, let's say fifth, right, this dot. So 
so now what I've done is I've ever added everything inside this box now once I've done it I have to loop over this box one by one using template for each so what you can do is you can write template and then for each automatically for each will appear so out of this for each we, we have to loop over this box variable right this box variable is having multiple apples so I have to loop over it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this loop loop uh, the box variable inside this for each and to pick each of this box uh, the apple one by one from this box I'm going to use for item and then I'm going to pick apple one apple at a time each apple or we can say each apple and then I'm going to print each apple over here right so I'm just going to print one by one so what will happen is there will be one by one and then apple one again after the one by one apple two one by one apple three and so on so let's jump back to our UI so as you can see this one by one apple one one by one again one by one apple two sorry apple 2 and there is an again one by one so what I want is uh, they are all in the one line right so I don't want them to be in one line I want to be in the next line to do that what you can do is you can use BR okay so soon inside the for loop anyway if you're going to use for loop we will understand it much more better but inside for loop if you're going to add any div or break or anything like that first of all break is used in order to move your text to the next line or if you have to add a line if you have to move the, move the, con uh, the content inside this for each loop into the next line so that's why I'm using for loop so what will happen is first one by one will get uh, printed apple one will get printed and after that it will be a break so it will move to the next line again we will go one by one apple and then print the apple two and so vice versa but when we are going to use template for each we have to give whatever element that you are going to use inside this template for each you have to give a key so I'm going to give a key that would be for now it would be each apple you have to give this key okay we will understand it in further videos why is it used but you have to give okay now as the key is given let's move to the component Now as you can see one by one apple one one by one apple two one by one apple three and so on so you're able to see all the apples you are able to pick each of the apple one by one and show it on the screen so this is how you use for each loop what i have done again i'll show you i've created a variable i have pushed multiple values inside this variable once i've done i've looped over this variable and i've put uh, using this for each uh, box variable and once i've done i picked each of these values from this variable one by one using this for each for item and then once i've done i printed it on the screen to add uh, the break or to move the text to the next line i have used pr so this is how you use for loop, for each loop or for loop in lwc if you found this video helpful please 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 do subscribe to this channel